the church is often referred to as a place where people come wounded and it's referred to as a hospital they got that from a man called saint augustine many years ago who said the church is a hospital where people come wounded sick that is not the scriptures the bible says the church is a bride of christ according to ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23 the bible also says that the church is a royal priesthood a chosen nation a people called out of darkness into light dear unmarried lady are you wounded have you been hurt from the past wounds from family members friends past relationships have you been hurt by a loved one and you want to get into marriage that way i promise you it's not going to work out as it should be what are the signs that you are still wounded so how do you even know that you are wounded some people don't even know that you are wounded when you look for love in the wrong places get into relationship for love no. When you use people to try to heal your wound, another sign you are still wounded is when you have anxiety issues, when you are easily triggered, short tempered, when you get angry easily, when you have anger issues. These are signs that you are still wounded. These are pain points, so people will easily trigger you. These are signs that you are still wounded. There are many things that wound us. Some of it are abuse of any kind. It could be sexual abuse, it could be physical abuse, it could be emotional abuse, it could be verbal abuse. Something on the top list of the things that wound us are abuse. All kinds of abuse. If you've been battered in the past by a violent partner, or if you've had parents, maybe your mom or your dad battered by the other spouse, an unfaithful parent, if you had a parent who was unfaithful to the other spouse, the death of a loved one, the death of a parent, these are wounds. Long-term illness, a disability, divorced parents, the stress of even being a caregiver, these are wounds. Rejection from past relationships, these are wounds. When you carry these wounds, because emotional wounds are not seen with the physical eyes, they are only perceived and they are seen by actions. You may need to look inward to be sure you are not still wounded. How do you deal with these wounds if you are wounded? Acknowledge you've been wounded. Some people still live in denial. Some people talk away the feeling somewhere on the inside. Those wounds have never been addressed, never been brought out. Quit living in denial. Speak to a trusted friend, a counselor, a pastor, a therapist, someone, but don't hold it in because when you hold it in, you will not get healed. Imagine someone who has a physical injury, doesn't get treated, keeps staring at it, or put on a clothing that covers that wound. Over time, what happens? It begins to eat deep and it festers, adding bacteria that can affect that body. It's the same thing with emotional wounds. When these things happen and they just assume that, well, such is life. And people oftentimes assume that time heals wounds. Time in itself does not heal wounds. In the process of time, there are certain actions that need to be taken for these wounds to be healed. I host a masterclass course for unmarried ladies and they are having mind-changing, life-transforming encounters with the Lord as they begin to unveil and deal with the wounds from the past. Join us in the description box below. You will see every information you will need. So find a safe space to express those emotions. You can journal down, you can journal your feelings down, but find someone, a trusted person that you can open up to and share these feelings you've long suppressed. Next, prayer. We have underrated the power of prayer. Prayer is a powerful transformational force. And prayer heals. One prayer to pray is, Lord, heal my spirit, heal my wounded heart. 
and restore me to wholeness. Until next time, I'll see you.